Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Tonight I am going to do a pair of flip cups on this 24 by 24 inch canvas. Um, multiplying length times width divided by 28 means that I need 20 ounces of paint. Each of these cups hold 10 ounces. So I will be filling them right up to the top and I'm going to do a pair of flip cups. So I'm going to layer them in this order in one cup and then in this order in the other cup. So um, it's always interesting to see when you uh, layer flip cups, how it can change based on, on which order you put them in. So my colors tonight are primary yellow from Amsterdam, vermilion from Amsterdam. I love that uh, vibrant orange. This is uh, Liquitex Basics Deep Violet. This is Amsterdam greenish blue, and this is Amsterdam turquoise green. So not quite a rainbow colors. I've left out the red but um, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I will go ahead and get started. I'll keep these in order so I know what's happening. And I am going to add a little bit of Amsterdam titanium white in between each of the layers because I don't want a lot of blending. And I only wanna do one layer of each color in each cup also. So I'm gonna put fairly large layers little bit of white and then the orange on top of that the white oops got some orange in there Violet or white. Blue. A little bit of white. And some turquoise. Nice, there's one cup. See all of those colors. That white will act as a um, an isolation layer in between the colors, but it will also lighten some of those colors also. So instead of just one color of blue, I'll get more than one color of blue. But this way also uh, the blue is less likely to interact with the orange and create mud. So that is the theory. So now we're going to go backwards. We're going to go with the turquoise first. Nice, decent layer. A little bit of white. Nice, healthy layer of the blue. A little bit of white. Violet. I made my layers as thick on this one. Yellow. That's close, but I think to level out the cup, I'm gonna put a little more white in the top of this one. There we go, now they're about even. And there are, there's more than one way to do this. You can put down a base coat, um, but if you put down the base coat and you flip your cups, some of the base coat color will show up in, this, in the, uh, the pour, um, and I don't want that. So I'm going to flip these directly onto the canvas, and uh, if I need it, I will add an ex a flow extender. But there should be 20 ounces of paint, I need 20 ounces for this canvas, so there should be enough here I might thin out my white and use that as a uh, flow extender, we'll see. So the best way to do a flip cup is to tuck your elbow to your rib cage and then flip. You'll get less of this out, this splatter on the outside edge that way. 
or at least that's the way it works for me. So one, two, three, flip. There we go. Now, because I filled these cups most of the way to the top, um, there's not a lot of space created um, here so the paints don't have to run so far down the cup so you don't get as much blending. Uh, but if you want that blending, then don't fill your cups all the way to the top. So I'm gonna move this one up here. It's always good to give it a second to, to settle before you flip. So I'm gonna flip this and drag it backwards. Ooh, wow, that makes me happy. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay. Move this one up here. Ooh, that's nice. This is gonna be really vibrant. I didn't flip that very well, so most of the paint is here, most of the paint is here. I haven't done this kind of flip cup in a while. And I just mixed my paint, so there's gonna be lots of air bubbles in here. Um, let's go ahead and, while we're waiting for this to settle out a little bit, we're going to pop it out. Probably have to torch a couple of times. While I'm waiting for that to settle a bit, I did forget to show you my consistency. All of my paints are mixed, three parts pouring medium to one part paint, and you can see that they do leave a mound on a mound. I did use a little bit of water to thin these down, just a tiny little bit, just to make sure that they flow easily off of the stick. And I don't mention this enough, but in my video descriptions, I always write out the entire process. Um, I call it the keys to success. So if you want an actual tutorial, I recommend that you uh, read the video descriptions. Um, and I always include lots of really good, helpful information in there, all of my tips and tricks. So, okay. I think we are ready to get started. Ooh, cool. The first thing we're going to do is integrate these two puddles.
So here are the wet results of my rainbow flip cup. I'm super happy with this. I uh, There are a couple things I, I wish I had done differently. I, I wish I had done a third cup, number one, because those paints were thick and they were difficult to stretch, but um, I did manage to get the whole canvas covered. And uh, But I had to use and keep this uh, part where I uh, left the cup to drip in the corner, I had to keep that because I, I needed that paint. But I think it's kind of cool there. Um, this part definitely looks like a sunset, the part where the yellow was layered in first, and the part with the turquoise that was layered in first uh, definitely looks like water. So it looks like a, a landscape to me. I think it's beautiful. Uh, as expected, there were a lot of air bubbles because I had just mixed these paints. In fact, I still see some coming up, uh, but those air bubbles allow, um, when they pop, they allow the colors from underneath to come up as cells. Popping the bubbles early um, helps them get larger. Popping them at the end gives you the little pinhole kind of cells like that. See, this was definitely something that uh, I popped earlier. Uh, but there were no metallics in here. There were no, there's no silicone. Um, so all of these cells are natural cells. This softness up in here is beautiful. I love the way this transition right here. It's almost prismatic. I love that. So I hope you like this too. Stay tuned for the dry results. So here are the dry results. Um, overall, I'm really super happy with it, but I, I wish I had let, it, let the paint sit longer so that there were less air bubbles. It's a little distracting for me. I want to love this more because the, the motion of that sunset in the background and the water in the front. It's beautiful. I love it. But I find those cells just a little too distracting. Um, I'm going to try this again. Same exact colors, layered exactly the same way, or as close as I can get it, and, uh, and see if I can get this image or something similar with, without all the cells. Cleaner. Uh, but I don't hate it. I like it. But it is a little too galaxy for me. I wanted it to be. Um, I want it to be cleaner. So I'm going to try this again. You guys, let me know what you think. And um, when I do the second one, we'll compare them. All right. Thanks again for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And come back and see me sometime.